Today's Bible study comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1 and 2, and it reads as follows. As God's co-workers, we urge you not to receive God's grace in vain. For he says, in the time of my favor I heard you, and in the day of salvation I helped you. I tell you, now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. Amen. And it's talking about our responsibilities that we have with what God has given us. And it says, when we then, as workers together with him, and Paul is saying, hey, we work with Jesus Christ. We are partners. We are doing things that we should do under this ministry of reconciliation that Jesus has given to us. And as he said, he's an ambassador of Christ. So we, being ambassadors of Christ, we work with Jesus. And this has got to be pretty awesome to be told that we're an ambassador of Christ, that we work with Jesus. And how do we do it? By persuading, by walking the way that he would have us walk, by showing the world who he is through our actions. So we work together, and Paul is telling them, hey, we work together and also plead with you. And Paul's just saying, God is pleading through us, through this ministry. You know, if you look back at a 5 and 20, it said that. It said, now then we are ambassadors. Like I said, Paul said we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading through us. And he's, Paul's repeat, repeating this. And now Paul says he will plead with the Corinthian Christians. He's an ambassador. He's working. And remember, Paul is pleading. A plead is woo, almost humbling because you're pretty much begging. And Paul ain't got pride in this. He doesn't mind begging. But man, can you think of the humbleness and humility that this plead must have brought about, especially to a people who didn't find favor with Paul all the time. And he says not to receive, and he's pleading this, not to receive the grace of God in vain. So they had, the Corinthians already had it. They received the grace of God. And you can tell that because Paul's talking about what they have received. He says, as plead with you not, not to receive the grace of God in vain. Don't get it in vain, so you obviously got it. And you wouldn't be a Christian. We wouldn't be talking to you if the grace of God hadn't been received by you. But... Even though you received it, mm, y'all got some problems. You might have received it in vain. And Paul is pleading with him about this. Don't do that. Don't do this thing here. Don't receive it in vain. And if you stop doing the work, You're going to have a problem. See, Paul said you're getting a favor of God, but you don't want to do some of the things you need to do. You forgot you got to work. You got things to do. So Paul is reminding them and pleading them not to be like that. And now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. And Paul takes them back to the Old Testament with this, because this is an Old Testament quote. Um, but what he's really saying is, hey, this is major. This is serious. This is with extreme urgency. Because we don't know when God's day of salvation is going to come, but it is coming. 
And Paul is saying, God has given you time to do some work with his grace. But act like you don't know when he's coming back and work like he's coming back right now. And you got this acceptable time for us to work with grace. But don't forget don't forget that God has a day of salvation that none of us know when it is going to be. So, don't get lazy. Don't be self-centered. Don't focus on what you can see. Get to work. Be workers with them. As Christ is working at all times. Guess who else has to work at all times? That would be us. Amen.